so today in this video we shall learn to find the gcf of hcf of 12 and 30 and here we shall find out gcf of hcf of 12 and 30 by two method first one by prime factorization method and the second one by division method so let's find out gcf of hcf of 12 and 30 by prime factorization method so while finding out gcf of hcf by prime factorization method first of all we have to find out the prime factors of given numbers so we have numbers are 12 and 30 so let's find out the prime factors of 12 first so it is 2 times 6 means 12 like as 2 times 3 means 6 and 3 times 1 means 3 in the same way we shall find out the prime factors of 30 so it is 2 times 15 means 30 like as 3 times 5 means 15 and 5 times 1 means 5 so as you look here we have find out the prime factors of 12 and 30 so from these prime factors so we can write 12 is equal to from here it is 2 times 2 times 3 in the same way we can write 30 is equal to from here it is 2 times 3 times 5 so as you look here we have written the prime factors of 12 and 30 so from these prime factors now we find out the common factors so here is 2 and here is also 2 so 2 is our first common factor like as here is 3 and here is also 3 so 3 is also our common factor and at last we have 2 and 5 which are non-common factors so as you know we are finding out here gcf or hcf so gcf or hcf is the product of all common factors only so common factors are 2 and 3 so now we find out the product of common factors 2 and 3 so it is 2 times 3 means it is 6 so 6 is the products of all common factors therefore 6 is the gcf of hcf of 12 and 30 so in this way we can find out gcf by prime factorization method so now our second method is by division method so let's find out gcf of hcf of 12 and 30 by division method so while finding out gcf of hcf by division method first of all you have to divide the greater number which is 30 with the lesser number which is 12 so it is 12 times 2 means it is 24 and 30 minus 24 means it is 6 so as you look here we have a remainder 6 here so when the remainder comes then again you have to divide the divisor with the remainder so 6 divides the divisor 12 so it is 12 times 2 means 6 times 2 means it is 12 so here we have no remainder so the divisor 6 is taking here no remainder so while finding out gcf by division method first of all you have to divide the greater number with the lesser number and while dividing if the remainder comes then you have to again divide the divisor with remainder so while dividing 12 with 30 then here comes 6 as remainder so means again you have to divide the divisor 12 with 6 so it is 6 times 2 means 12 so at last you have no remainder so the divisor 7 is taking no remainder so 6 is taking no remainder so it becomes the gcf of hcf therefore we can write gcf of hcf is equal to 6 because the divisor 6 is taking no remainder at last so in this way we can find out gcf by division method so this much for today and if you have any question from math then just comment your question in a comment below and we shall provide a video solution of your question so thank you